Tibetan Buddhist origin. In this master class, you will learn the origin of the Tibetan Buddhism and with the Abhidharma of the Buddha, so that everything makes sense. Good welcome to this master class. My name is Jose de Gomez. I have been for the last 30 years or more exploring my research in the Tibetan Buddhism in particular. The founder of the Tibetan Buddhism, as you know, is Padma Sambhava, the Lotus Bowl Master. Esoteric Buddhism is based on what is called the esoteric body, uh, the essential symbol of the five elements of the Abhidharma or Buddha. This I will, I will show you in, 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 in a picture. And see the esoteric body, as, yeah, where the red body chitta is going, the earth and fire, and the white body chitta is going through the other channel is the wind and water, and the middle is the space, yeah? And then we have, you remember from the Montemeru, the four formula rounds. Here is on the chakras, the infinite uh, space round, the infinite consciousness round, the uh, nada, the nothingness, the resonance uh, uh, round. And then you have on the top, the nether, the perception or no perception. Then you have the aura of nirvana. Then you have the aura of the awakened mind. And all this is the esoteric body, as you, you can see. This is where it's starting the esoteric teachings based on when we meditate on the, the central channel to bring what is called the three body cheetahs into the heart of enlightenment and get enlightened on the uh, esoteric style. Padma Sambhava came into different forms. It's called the eight emanations. But the one we come to Tibet is called Padma Sambhava. And that one is represents here, yeah? Buddha Mitabha on the top, Buddha Bolekitespara, and the emanation body, which is Padma Sambhava. And those three bodies come into one symbol, which is the Badra mind. Yeah, and this Badra mind is what it gives the name of Badrayana. Yeah, the, and this is the symbol of the Badra mind, which is Badra Guru, Padma Sambhava himself. So this is the symbol of the Badrayana, the indestructible mind, which is symbolized the three kayas, the three dimensions of the empty luminous space, the, the true body, the fundamental luminosity, the Sambhogakaya is called the enjoyment body, and the emanation body of form. So all these three bodies into one is the Vajra mind, the Vajra guru. And this is where the Vajrayana started. So here I show the picture of Padma Sambhava and you can see Petar there, and you can see he's sitting on a lotus, yeah? where he was born, this is the emanation body came from, and then he is holding the Vajra, where his mind arises from, the Vajra mind, and uh, below they are the King Tison Desert, who invite him to Tibet, and the uh, Santarasita, who came from Nalanda University in India, to establish the Buddhism in Tibet, but they couldn't both of them. So they, after of be disappointed and frustrating because the evil uh, forces, they were so strong at that time. And uh, uh, the Bad Santarasita knew that there was a, a, a tantric master down in Udiana. So and he was, uh, Padma Sambhava was popular uh, at that time as a Vajra body and Vajra mind, so that the evil forces cannot uh, overcome him. So then they decided to invite him. So then he came to Tibet, and then he started to subjugate the forces, and in the end he succeeded, and then established the uh, Buddha Dharma and the Vajra Yana for the first time in Tibet. He started to create a lineage of oral tradition from the Buddha, Realization lineage, which is called the Vidyadharas, the four Vidyadharas. Then also the thermal lineage, the hidden treasures 
in the mind of his 25 disciples, realized disciples, that they will reborn in the future. He also established um, what is called a nine vehicle uh, or nine janas. Nine janas is to establish the levels of realization of what is possible to achieve from meditation, samatha and vipassana, and nirvana and the waking mind in particular, the levels of the waking mind. So that is divided into uh, 10 boomies. From the time you or anyone achieve nirvana, yeah, for the benefit of oneself, and now for the benefit of other, it has the awakened mind. So this awakened mind, it has so deep inside, which is where the jhanas is established now, yeah? There are nine jhanas. The first three are what is called um, sarvakas, listeners, then realize the selflessness, the emptiness of self. Then there are Pracheka Buddha, solitary realizers, then realize uh, the emptiness of phenomena. And then there are the Bodhisattvas, which are the spiritual heroes, which realize the emptiness of the mental continuum. Then there are uh, outer tantras. So there are three. There are the Kriya Yoga, the Upper Yoga, and the Yoga Tantra. Those are realized by uh, one of the Vidyadharas, which is the Vidyadhara of mad maduration. Yeah. And those, they are the Bhumis from the first, second, third, and fourth. Then you have the Inner Tantras. Then they are uh, Maha Yoga, Anu Yoga, Anati Yoga. And I realized by the uh, another Vidyadharas, the, which are the Vidyadhara of long life, yeah, which is uh, those realize um, they get the teachings from the Sambhogakaya Buddha, the enjoyment body, yeah, and realize the fifth booming. Then you have the Vidyadhara of Mahamudra, then realize an eighth booming realize those levels from the Dharmakaya Buddha, the true body, eh? the inseparability of clear line, mind of bliss and emptiness. And then you have uh, the Pidyadara of spontaneous presence. We realize the last level of the Tembumin, the, and this is the spontaneous presence, lotus light born body, and empty luminous mind and those are the ten boomies and those are corresponding to the fourth vidyadharas and this is the complete path of the nine janas and this is what is called the tibetan bodhisattva the vajrayana the old school the nima school that is present to our, to our days and the, then after it comes the new schools with many other teachers of the new school, whether are Karyupas or Sakyas or Gelupas, including his colleagues as Dalai Lama, in one way, if you analyze the stories on, on in the Rebirth, in one of them, or in the last, they are always blessed by Padma Sambhava, or they are emanations of one of the uh, 25 disciples, or from the deities on the mandalas, Oh, all is one mandala. If you like this video, please give your thumb up. And if you like, uh, you can subscribe too. And please don't forget to click on the um, notification bell. And below also you can go to the past videos there. So yeah, click. And anyway, friend, thanks very much.